Hello there folks, Nathan here, hope you're all well and welcome back to Food and Drink Reviews here on my channel where today, yes, we've got a little bit of an unexpected review but uh, I couldn't pass up this opportunity um, I was actually given this yesterday by my dad um, and I thought, well, I'm uh, definitely going to review this Now, uh, for those viewers out there who are of the legal age to drink or are from Ireland you can probably recognize that brand straight away it is none other than Guinness which is a possibly maybe the, the most famous stout I don't know but uh, yes I'm a big Guinness fan oh, I love drinking Guinness and I've also been to the Guinness uh, the Guinness factory in Dublin in 2020 I did the self-guided tour me and my friend James uh, but I didn't know that they actually made produced chocolate uh, so this is uh, very very strange this is a uh, caramel chocolate Guinness caramel chocolate um Obviously, I'll have a little read. I'll have a little read of it. And there's the back. I'll have a little read, see what we can gather from it, and of course, I'll, I'll give it a go. I've got my magnifying glass here. Uh, yeah, so Guinness Caramel Chocolate. A uh, soft, smooth, flowing caramel flavoured with Guinness, flavoured with Guinness beer, and set in a creamy milk chocolate bar. Oh, so it's also, well, we'll see if we can, uh, we'll see if we can depict that because uh, Guinness has a very iconic taste. Mainly caused by the barley. Barley's barley is a uh, a main ingredient in brewing Guinness. Silky smooth, it says. Established seventeen fifty nine. At uh, Saint James's Gate is the actual uh, location of the Guinness. Uh, English, this is the milk chocolate caramel bar, flowing caramel, silk, silkfully handcrafted in small batches, flavoured with Guinness beer and set in a creamy milk chocolate shell to create a unique bittersweet chocolate experience. Uh, ingredients, I'll just read out the ingredients in bold, just in case people. Uh, so it contains milk, Barley, gluten, soya uh, may contain traces of nuts. So that's possibly why my dad gave it me as well, because uh, he can't eat nuts. My dad has a nut allergy. Uh, so that's possibly why he gave it to me as well. Uh, I think he got it for Christmas. I think he got it in a hamper of some sort. Uh, so yeah, if you, you know, anyone out there who has got nut allergies, this may contain traces of nuts. Uh, this product also contains alcohol. So this is not suitable for children. Store in a cool, cool, dry place. Right. I didn't actually know that. I thought it would just have like a flavouring, but it's actually, there's actually alcohol in with this so this is not suitable this isn't suitable for children so uh, before we do proceed any further with this review I will just like to say that this is for reviewing purposes only I'm not trying to promote the consumption of alcohol and certainly not if you are under the legal age to consume so I'd like to get that little disclaimer out of the way now. Right. Well, 
there's nothing left to do but to get this open now. I don't think there's any easy way of doing this. So I will try and try and preserve that packaging. It's very nice, isn't it? Very nice. And there you go. So that's the, the cardboard packaging it comes in. It's wrapped in some silver foil. So I'm going to try and... Please excuse the hair. It grows so quick, my hair does. I only had it done before Christmas. Right, I'm trying to do it ever so carefully because I don't want to uh, tear the foil. But... I've just got the feeling that it's going to happen anyway. <laughs> I'm just that to... Oh, oh God, yeah, you can... All right, then, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll use this. Sod it. I've got a tr uh, little container, plastic tub I could always put it in. Oh, I've got some tin foil in the kitchen, so I could always rewrap it. Right then. There we go. Let's pan down. And I can show you. Uh, let's do it long ways. So let me just fold that like that. There we go. There you go. You can see the full bar now. So there you go. See, you've got two rows. And each row contains six pieces. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So it's twelve by six, or six by twelve, however you want to say it. Two rows of six. And then you have, obviously, six rows of two. So you've got 12 squares in total. Uh, it doesn't look like... Oh, hang on. I won't be wrong. I'll hold it up. I'll break a piece off now. There we go. Did you hear that break? That was very soft and smooth. Let me bring that up to the camera and see if you can hear it again. Did you hear that? Very smooth clean break and then see, breaks apart like a dream so this is one of the squares of chocolate sorry that the lighting is not very good maybe if i shine it's not really doing anything is it no Can't really see. I've got to watch that this doesn't melt. Uh, I think I think it's got the Guinness harp on. I think the Guinness harp uh, is decorated on there. Very difficult to see. I do believe that the Guinness harp is on there. <laughs> uh, and obviously we've got to make sure it doesn't melt. Because uh, my heating's on, so uh, we've got to try and get through this quite quickly. So if it appears that I'm rushing, I do apologise, but I am slightly rushing. Because obviously we don't want it to melt. And I've got to go shopping at some point as well. You know what it's like in the new year? You get Christmas and New Year out of the way and you're like, oh goodness me, I need a big shop. Yeah. But I thought I'd do this first. I thought I'd uh, I'd do this first and then tackle the boring stuff later. Anyway, without further ado, I think, you know, I've gone on for long enough. It's time to give this a try. <clears throat> now, before I do try it, obviously, I just need to... I just need to clarify with you that um, it is quite difficult to describe the taste of Guinness. 
Um, the best description I could give you is it just sort of tastes like iron. Uh, it does contain iron. It is good for your, good for your iron guineas. Um, best possible taste. A uh, bit like putting a penny in your mouth, I'd say. You get that tinny, coppery, irony sort of taste. That faint, that faint taste. Sort of what it reminds me of. But this really does smell like Guinness. So, without further ado, let's give it a try. So, you know the drill by now. You know I'm about to start eating. So if you don't like the sounds of people chewing or crunching or eating, not that this will crunch, uh, you might want to make a volume adjustment. But uh, here we go. I will just give you a second. I can feel the sneeze coming on. I hope it goes. <laughs> no, it's gone. It's gone. Right then. Here we go. Without further ado, let's uh, let's give this a go. First taste of a Guinness. A Guinness caramel chocolate bar containing real Guinness beer. Hmm. Yeah, you can taste it. Mm, yeah, you can taste the beer. <laughs> now, the caramel is actually very smooth. Normally, I'm not a fan of caramel. But... That's not so bad. Well, I tell you, I prefer... I prefer salted caramel to normal caramel. I be believe this is just normal caramel. But it's not quite as rich as, say, like a Cadbury... You know, a Cadbury Dairy Milk caramel. Um, caramel in, like, a Curly Whirly or something like that, just for, you know, just for reference. It's actually quite a thin layer of caramel and it actually complements the bar really well. So I'm just going to... Yep, that'll work. If, the, if it will show. You can see, look, is there only a very fine layer of caramel in there. But it's just the right amount. Now the chocolate itself, I can't really gather a specific taste. Uh, partly because obviously it's made with the the Guinness beer, which gives it, you know, an un, an unusual an unusual flavour. As you can see, I'm I'm getting through this. Really, I'm getting through this. I've nearly eaten half of it already. Hmm. Well, yeah, very nice taste. Very, very nice taste. In terms of sweetness, it's not overly sweet. I do like that in chocolate. I don't like uh, overly sweet. Because I think if it's too sweet, it just becomes sickly and it just makes you feel horrible. 
this makes you feel ill and you're like oh no don't like it you know oh don't like this it's too it's too sweet it's too sickly um but this isn't too bad and the same with the caramel the caramel's not too sweet and it's not too overpowering you know the, you've got that fine layer of caramel inside and i think it's just about enough As for the chocolate itself, with the taste of the, the Guinness beer aside, uh, it just tastes like any standard milk chocolate, really. Um, again, it's not overly sweet. Um, it's not too rich. I think, it, it, you know, it's just the right... Uh, it's just right. I don't mean to sound like uh, Goldilocks, but... Uh, yeah, I feel it's just right. I think everything about this uh, chocolate bar is just spot on. It's been... You know, it's been made to the right standard. It's, you know, the chocolate's not too overpowering. The Guinness beer isn't too overpowering. The fact that it actually contains real Guinness as well. And above all, the caramel's not too overpowering. So all those three flavours just seem to complement each other and just make this a really interesting bar. And I'm really glad that I've uh, had the opportunity to review it. So I can't really say anything bad about it. Um, obviously, you know, like, like we said before, we, we tried it. Um, it's not, not suited for children. I wouldn't recommend children try it. Um, and obviously, of course, if you're not of the legal age to consume alcohol, I wouldn't recommend it either. But if you are, then by all means, you know, give it a go, see what you think. Maybe you don't like Guinness. Not a lot of people do like Guinness. Uh, I never used to. Um, I only started drinking Guinness because I, um, because I went to Ireland. Uh, I went to Northern Ireland in 2017 to visit relatives. And obviously I, had, I drank Guinness while I was over there. And then, I don't know, uh, my friend James just suddenly got into Guinness for the strangest reason. So every time we went on a night out, he'd drink Guinness and it's... Then I'd be like, oh, sod it, I'll join you. And then in 2020, before the pandemic, we went to Dublin for a couple of days. And obviously we did the self-guided tour at the Guinness storehouse. And we learnt to pour a pint of Guinness ourselves at the Guinness Academy. Uh, so, you know, Guinness does have a place in my heart. And it was the first ever drink that my granddad bought me on my 18th birthday. It was the first pint I had after the limo dropped me off at the pub and all my fr family were there and other friends. Uh, my granddad Murray was actually one of the first people to buy me a drink and it was a Guinness. So yeah, Guinness has a lot of good memories for me. Uh, so this certainly tops it. Well, it doesn't top it, but it certainly adds to those memories. And on that note, I've jabbered on for far too long. You're probably all falling asleep by now. So I'm going to uh, wrap this up by saying thank you for watching. I hope you've stuck with me to the end. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know if you've tried this before or if there's any other flavours out there that you'd recommend me trying. And I'll certainly attempt to source them. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you have subscribed, I'd like to thank you for your support. I'm nearing 200 subscribers now, so that's absolutely fantastic. Uh, I can't believe, can't believe how many, how many subscribers I've got. Absolutely brilliant. I really appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to share the channel as well if you uh, find a particular video interesting. Maybe, you know, give it a share, see see if uh, more people enjoy it. 
uh, share the channel. You know, they can have a look through themselves to see if there's any videos that I've done that they find intriguing. And until the next video, whatever, or indeed whenever that may be, uh, it just remains for me to say, uh, take care, stay safe, stay strong, and as Grandad Murray used to say, stay happy. And I will bid you farewell.